So here we have an experiment to show you birefringent from a naturally occurring crystal, uh, which is called calc spar or double spar. And uh, to show this, I have prepared here um, a little transparency that just uh, shows some text. And uh, it is not polarized the light now, so we've removed the polarizer. And, uh, but if we put this crystal on top of it, you see some interesting effect. And then you can you realize why it is called double spar, because instead of seeing one image, we seem to be seeing two versions of the same sample. Right? You, and you see one interesting thing. If I rotate it, one of these two uh, versions stays the same, whereas the other one moves around. So now what you find out is that this is actually caused by splitting the polarization. It has basically different um, refractive indices for different orientations of the electric field. And you can see this nicely. If I put in an analyzer, even though there is no polarizer here, these two images are polarized that are emitted from the, the um, Kalkspur or um, double spar, sorry. So you see here in this orientation, we see one of the two images and the other one we see here. And one of the rays is called the ordinary ray and the other one is called the extraordinary ray.